theories on TikTok, YouTube shorts, Facebook that will make us question reality. I always have to give out this disclaimer. They're just theories. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the video. Hey to all my beautiful and incredible supporters out there. I'm beyond excited to unveil my brand new merchandise collection designed just for you. Don't miss out on this chance to own a piece of this limited edition collection. Head straight to shopperky.com and explore the full range of hoodies and tees waiting for you. Whether you're a longtime supporter or new to the family, there's something for everyone in this exclusive lineup shopperky.com link is in the description down below i love you and thank you for all your support thank you to paid promo for this video he's the first shout out of the day so we're coming into the sub this is the only toilet available on a deep diving submersible best seat in the house you can Where look out it? the viewport oh. put a privacy screen in turn up the music and uh it's uh, very popular we have our uh, control screen here, our sonar screen here, and we can put any image we want in the back. We've taken a completely new approach to the sub design, and it's all run with this game controller and these touch screens. So if you want to go forward, you press forward. If you want to go back, you go back, turn left. <laughs> this lost me with the toilet. <laughs> but what type Look, I don't know what type of <laughs> y'all is. Oh my gosh. But there's no way. No way. That I would have got on the boat. This has an Xbox controller remote. Yeah. Y'all need to look, game is everything. It's game of vision. Games is losers. And rest in peace to those guys, man. I'm not getting into a submarine that you operated with an Xbox controller. Thank you, Sue Retro, for sending this video over. Will allow a new eco-friendly burial method called human composting. So it was just signed into law by and it is a process, human composting, where you're deceased loved one is turned into healthy soil. Companies that offer this say every person who chooses this option over more traditional methods like burial or cremation will save one metric ton of carbon from entering the environment. It can cost around five to $7,000. That's a little less expensive than a casket funeral, oh, but it's dang. more expensive than cremation. Dang. California is not the first state to be doing this. Washington, Colorado, Oregon, and Vermont now allow human composting. Check out this death chamber this washing machine they call it aquamation where they liquefy the dead and then dump the remains down the drain to be recycled into the municipal water supply and so people are drinking it they're showering in it they're doing their laundry in it and this is happening in most states across the country in most major cities they're recycling dead people and feeding it to the living what does that mean exactly? And they're grinding up the bones into powder. They call this calcium phosphate, which is going to be used for food processing, undoubtedly. Maybe in your vitamins. <sighs> and drinking dead people. Of course, they're spraying this on the food supply. Irrigation. They're using dead people as compost, and people are drinking it. So what does that mean? What does that feel like? Now they're drinking dead people in the major cities. They're drinking dead people, and they don't even know it, for the most part. And is that even a, And they like keep finding people? human DNA in the food supply. So aquamation has been around for about 10 years now, and it's spread to nearly every state and every major city because they're running out of space, they say, in the cemeteries. They just, so they're going to liquefy you. But this is some scary technology because this can be deployed in all sorts of different ways and people can disappear and just end up down the drain so there's all sorts of different models and all sorts of different types according to the reports there's the hardcore hydrolysis and then there's the soft hydrolysis and the difference is the temperature and the time it takes to dissolve a body it can take between three hours and eight hours. So imagine you've got a laundromat like this somewhere. How many people can disappear in a day in a laundromat just like this with these types of washing machines? But obviously if we're to the point where we're liquefying the dead and feeding it to the living and calling it organic or environmental, 
you know these people on television have gone mental. <laughs> Can we talk about this TV show called The 100? Specifically the last season? And yes, these blinds will continue to stay closed. Now, I don't want to spoil anything, so if you haven't watched it, get off this video. Now, in this season, there is an orb that takes you to different planets, if you have the right coordinates. Now, also on this orb, there is a code to Supreme Higher Intelligence that gives different species on planets a test, whether or not they can ascend with them. So in Christian terms, it would be like the Rapture, aka Judgment Day. Now, there's this group of people who control the orb, who believe in fighting a war to save all mankind. Controlled by this man who thinks he's God. They have a belief system of not feeling love, not having any emotional attachments to anything, and fighting the war. That's all they care about. Now the main characters are being attacked by these people. And they don't care who they hurt, they all want for the benefit of themselves. A lot of fighting goes on. And these higher conscious beings are like, Oh no, y'all not ready. All of this fighting, all of this anger, no love. Why would we want y'all to join us in our intelligence? I wonder if we could say the same thing for everybody on this planet. So many wars, so much disagreement, different religions, and some of them think that they're better than the other one. Same thing in the TV show, a character named Allie, she communicated with the higher beings and she said, we're not ready either. These higher beings do not want to interact with the negative energy or the vibration of humans. Probably why we haven't seen these beings integrate into our society. I mean, let's just be honest, Earth is ghetto. All these corruptions, <laughs> human trafficking, so many unhappy people stuck in a cycle of this system. The consciousness of Earth right now is just not attractive. So was this TV show trying to tell us something about our consciousness? Let me know what y'all think. Stay dangerous. Shout out to DeAndre. Probably the most disturbing endocrine disruptor, and this is something we should all be looking at, is yeah. atrazine. What is atrazine? It's in the water. It's a pesticide. But they took atrazine and they put it in a tank with 40 frogs. They put it below the exposure levels that EPA considers acceptable to humans. They were all male frogs, and 30 of those frogs were chemically castrated. Four of them turned into females and produce fertile eggs. Report toxic herbicide found in many Texans drinking water. That's from 2018, November 20th. And we're subjecting our children to exposure to that every day. What does this do to sexual development in children? Nobody knows, but we know what it does to frogs. You guys, I wanna share with you the secret covenant that you might or might not have heard about. The secret covenant was created by none other than the Rockefellers and maybe even someone even higher than them, let's be honest. But this is their secret covenant and their clause of things that they wanted to follow. And when if you're a conspiracy theorist or a critical thinker and you're aware of what's been going on in the world, you're going to know exactly how suitable this is. This is written word for word and I want to read it to you. Okay, so bear with me. The secret covenant, an illusion it will be so large, so vast it will escape their perception. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane. We'll create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be accomplished one drop at a time so as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience for we know the secrets of the absolute. We will work together always and we will remain bound by blood and secrecy will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so that they will never see what's happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators and sedatives and food and water also in the air. They will be blanketed by everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their mind. We will promise to find a cure from our many fronts, yet we will, find, we will, yet we will feed them more will be absorbed through their skin and mouths and they will destroy their minds and reproductive system. From all this, their children will be born dead and we will conceal this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them and what they drink, eat, breathe, and wear. We must be ingenious in dispensing the poisons for they can see far. We will teach them that the poisons are good with fun images and musical tones. Those they look up to will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. They will see our products being used in the film and will grow accustomed to them and will never know their true effect. When they give birth, we will inject poisons into the blood of their children and convince them that it's for their help. We will start early on when their minds are young, we will target their children with what the children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill their mind and steal their future. When their ability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine that will make them sicker and cause other diseases mm. for which we will create yet more medicine. Mm. We will render them docile and weak before us by our power. 
they will go depressed, slow and obese. And when they come to us for help, we will give them more. We will focus their attention toward money and material goods so that they, so they many, so they many never connect with their inner self. We will distract them with fornication, external pleasures and games so that they may never be one with the oneness of it all. Their minds will belong to us and they will do as we say. If they refuse, we shall find ways to implement mind altering technology into their lives. We will use, we will use fear as our weapon. We will establish the governments and establish opposites within. We will own both sides. We will always hide our objective but carry out our plan. They will perform the labor for us and we shall prosper from their toil. Our families will never mix with theirs. Our blood must be always pure, for it is the way. We will make them each other when it suits us. We will keep them separated from the oneness by dogma and religion. We will control all aspects of their lives and tell them what to think and how. We will grow them kindly and gently, letting them think that they are guiding themselves. <laughs> Illusion. We will foment animosity between them through our factions. When a light shall shine among them, we shall extinguish it by ridicule or death, whichever suits it best. We will make them rich each rip each other's hearts apart and kill their own children. We will accomplish this by using hate as our ally, anger as our friend. The hate will blind them totally, and never shall they see that from their conflicts we emerge as their rulers. They will be busy killing each other. They will bathe in their own blood and kill their neighbors for as long as we see fit. We will benefit greatly from this, for they will not see us, for they cannot see us. We will continue to prosper from their wars and their deaths. They shall repeat this over and over until our ultimate goal is accomplished. We will continue to make them live in fear and anger through images and sounds. We will use all the tools we have to accomplish this. The tools will be provided by their labor. We will make them hate themselves and their neighbors. We will always hide the divine truth from them. They were all one. That they were all one. This must never, this, this they must never know. They must never know that a man's color is an illusion. They must always think that they are not equal. Drop by drop, we will advance our goal. We will take over their land, resources, and wealth to exercise total control over them. We will deceive them into accepting laws that will steal the little freedom they will have. We will establish a money system that will imprison them forever, keeping them and their children in, in debt. When they shall band together, we will accuse them of crimes and present a different story to the world, for we shall own all the media. We will use our media to control the flow of information and their sentiment in our favor. When they shall rise up against us, we will crush them like insects, for they are less than that. They will be helpless to do anything, for they will have no weapons. We will recruit some of their own to carry out our plans. We will promise them eternal life, but eternal life they will never have for the, for they are not us. The recruits will be called initiates and will be indoctrinated to believe false rites of the passage through higher realms. Members of these groups will think that they are one with us, never knowing the truth. They must never learn this truth for they will turn against us. For their work, they will be rewarded with earthly things and great titles, but never will they become immortal and join us. Never will they receive the light and travel the stars. They will never reach their higher realms, for the king of their own kind will prevent passage to the realm of enlightenment. This they will never know. The truth will be hidden in their face, so close they will not be able to focus on it until it's too late. Oh yes, so grand the illusion of freedom will be that they will never know that they are our, they are our slaves. When all is in place, the reality will have created for them. The reality we will have created for them will own them. This reality will be their prison. They will live in self-delusion. When our goal is accomplished, a new era of domination will begin. Their minds will be bound by their beliefs, the beliefs we have established from time. But if they ever find out they are our equal, we shall perish. This they must never know. If they ever find out that together they can vanquish us, they will take action. They must never ever find out what we have done. For if they do, we shall have no place to run. For it will be easy to see who we are once the veil has fallen. Our actions will have revealed who we are and they will hunt us down and no person shall give us shelter. This is the secret covenant by which we shall live the rest of our present and future lives for this reality will transcend many generations and lifespans. This is a secret covenant. This is why it's so important to learn about this because when you learn about this, you create a life outside of the system. When you're aware of it, you can no, no longer be controlled. When you know what they want to do, you no longer fall into the traps from health, money, um, empowerment, purpose, higher vibrations, the music that you're listening to, the food that you're eating, the things that you're consumed with, the video games, the porn, all of this is all a distraction to keep you easily controlled. And once you know when you change that, exactly like they said, they fear it. Because the more of us that rise up and are aware of what's happening, the more they lose their control, which is exactly what they don't want.
And this is why we're recreating what the generation is going to look like. And this is why we're all waiting for, waiting for the uprise, because we know that this entire plan is going to crumble. If I could play that video all over again, I would. If I could. There better not be one comment in the comment section going against what that woman said or what was in the secret covenant. Everything she spoke is what's happening, but only the ones that have eyes to see and ears to hear recognize it. The ones that don't will defend the system. You want to know why they took this captive and you can't see outside of what they place in you, what they programmed you with all your life. What's that quote y'all? The, the eyes is useless when the mind is blind. What, is that the, is that the quote? I posted this video. We finally caught up with the videos. Now I need more videos because now I basically got all the way to the bottom. Hey everybody. This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. Not sure if you saw this article that was published yesterday, but a really strange situation happened at this gas station down That's in crazy. Houston, Texas. These patrons of this gas station were overwhelmed when hundreds of these birds called grackles just infiltrated the awning of the gas station. And the patrons were pretty freaked out. They said this is the bird apocalypse. Now this whole event is semi-strange. I think anyone would agree with that. But what I found most interesting was some ecologists that chimed in and gave their expert opinion. Now, they said that perhaps the birds were spooked and that they saw the light source of the gas station and that provided the ability for them to seek a safe location. But later on down in this article, this professor says something interesting. He says, I don't know why they're on the ground. Species such as these form communal roosts at night, but... These are typically in trees. Could they be confused by the bright lights of the gas station? They're not feeding. And here's a key part. I don't ever recall seeing this before. And <laughs> that's, that's the common statement that you see from lay persons and professors and, and just lots of people that are interviewed by these local TV stations and news agencies is regardless of what event we're seeing with regards to mass animal deaths or very peculiar animal behavior, no one's really recalled seeing this in their lifetime. Now, I know what skeptics are going to say about this, that we're living in the age of technology and social media, and so these type of events have always happened. It's just that they're more publicized now that everyone has cell phones in their hands and things of that nature. But I'll tell you what, paired up with just the massive amounts of these types of articles coming out and... The fact that in each one of these articles you have residents saying that they've never seen it before in their lives, something is going on here. I mean, just last week we have this story of hundreds of starling birds falling from the sky, crashing into each other in Rome. I believe a similar circumstance happened in February in the United States. Back in 2017, there were hundreds of dolphins and whales mm. beaching themselves out in New Zealand. I mean, this stuff is happening on a daily occurrence. And I know, at least for the marine life, people are blaming that on Fukushima, but these mass animal deaths, there's a lot of them. And it, it's just happening so frequently. So I wanted to look into just a little bit more about this whole animal phenomenon and, and what it might mean for the biblical end times. Now, I remember reading all the way back in 2011, after the Indonesian tsunami, there was an incredible phenomenon that happened, and that was the animals could predict the earthquake. It says mm. the evidence appears compelling. Before the giant wave slammed onto the coastlines, animals seemed to know what was going to happen. Dogs refused to leave home. Elephants screamed and ran for high ground. The bats fled. I mean, almost all the animals knew that something was going up, and so it's documented ev evidence for a really long time that animals can detect changes in the earth, but not only that, they can also detect changes in the heavens. So I found this really interesting article from Nat Geo, Surprising Ways Animals React to Solar Eclipses. And it said that uh, all the way back in June 3rd, 1239, there was an Italian monk that said, 
As the sun disappeared and the sky turned dark, all the animals and birds were terrified, and the wild bees could easily be caught. Mm. And then in 1560, an astronomer wrote that during the solar eclipse totality, stars appeared in the sky, and as marvelous as they were to behold, the birds fell down from the sky to the ground in terror of such horrid darkness. And so this supposed terror that these animals felt, as documented by this monk and astrologist, uh, is in stark contrast to how we treat the solar eclipses today. So the big solar eclipse of 2017, almost everyone just got their picnic blankets out and their, their cool fancy shades, and it was just one big spectacle. It was for entertainment. There was no more fear of the Lord. And this wasn't always the case. In fact, in the book of Jonah, when he went to Nineveh, to prophesy and warn them and telling them to repent of their ways. Uh, there's actually a lot of evidence to suggest that when he did this, there was a great solar eclipse that happened. And so people were so scared, oh, wow. you know, acknowledging this as a sign of God, that they all fell down to their knees and again, repented of their ways. But you just don't see that anymore. Back to the animals being part of creation. Romans 8.22 says, For we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now. These animals and, and creation are distinctly linked to the Creator and they are here to worship Him, but because of the fall of man, they groan together in the birth pangs. I truly believe we are in the end times, that we are in the birth pangs, and the time of great tribulation is very, very soon, and we see creation being affected because of that. Shout out to Cry. There's a secret island in the middle of the Indian Ocean. It's called Diego Garcia, and it's for the CIA, right? And in 2008, Times Magazine put out an article about Diego Garcia Island saying, like, that's where the CIA brings all of its, like, people to tour. But they also thought that the CIA is doing experiments underneath the island because it's a little island. And, like, did you ever hear, like, the Malaysian Flight 370 that went missing? Yeah. So they think that the Malaysian Flight 370 didn't like disappear. It landed yeah, on there and they like took that. the people off that plane and tore them. Sure. And the reason why they think that is because there was a IBM employee, right? He posted a picture 10 days after the plane disappeared because he was on that plane and people started dissecting it and they seen like, you know, you can like see where the picture's been taken. Mm -hmm. They said it's been taken on that island. Like, if you look at the coordinates, it was on that huh. island. So that's why they people think they and landed on that. I didn't got a little excited because I got put onto this information by my mores, what, I think like over a year, two years ago. Why the majority of the slaves of the transatlantic bear the name of Yah? Now, if y'all remember, Yah, Hua, Yah, Husha are the true names of our Alua and the son of Alua. Shout out to DeAndre for this video. I'm a little excited. Look at all those names with ya on it. And I may play it without the music. Y'all don't need the music. All those names with y'all, they even have it. They have it either in the front or the back. That is not a coincidence. Look at that. It's some um it's some cute names up in here. <laughs> so if you ever want to choose a name, you got options. Wow. It's like so much. And then look how young some of them were. Wow. Yeah, all them bear the name of the Lua that they served. 
which is Yahuwah and Yahusha. I'll go ahead and end it there on a great note. That is very interesting to know is that the people that came from the transatlantic slave trade all bear the name of Yahuwah. Yah. They either had it at the end of their name or the beginning, but they all had Yah. And that y'all know we don't believe in coincidence. That is not a coincidence. But hopefully that woke somebody up that made it this far in the video. But again, theories on TikTok that you guys have sent over love today's videos. I'm starting to catch up. I'm getting a little scared. I need to calm down. I didn't think I was going to catch up, but I didn't caught up. Please send over videos. Link is in the description. Add them, add them, add them so that we can react, react, react. But I love and appreciate you guys. Eternal honors to my Lord Yahuwah, my Adonai Yahusha Hamasha. I'm just a vessel that they work in and through. So I got to give credit and honor where it's due. But y'all know me. Y'all have a blessed one. I'll see you on the next one. Shalom. Shalom. You can't bring me down. I know who I belong to. Yeah. Why? I won't sell my